I'm recording. Whoa. Hi everyone. I received some requests um, about, you know, what are some good brushes that I should own. I'm not someone who does a lot of makeup on me, but you know, I would like to have a couple of good, good brushes. So I'm going to start off by telling you some of the, you know, must have products. And if you want to go a little bit more professional or you want to have a little bit more variety, I will go more in depth of some of the specific brushes that could you could use for different things. So if you want to know more about this, please keep watching. Why am I so tired? Let's do this. So I'm going to start in with how to put your concealer on. My personal opinion is, th is that the best thing to put concealer on is this finger, and you just dab it around, or using a beauty blender. Beauty blenders, you can um, buy them at Ulta, you know, drugstore products, anywhere. But as I stated before in other videos, um, some will be very expensive, but they're not worth it. All of them do the same thing. I mean, the quality, it's not gonna change much. It's a beauty blender, go for the cheap one. You're going to wet this and squeeze, 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 and then you're going to put it on your face to blend things out. You can also use this to put um, foundation, and you can also use your fingers for foundation. It's whatever you guys prefer. I like to vary, you know, depending on what foundation I use or if I'm using a BB cream. So that's up to you. Now I'm going to go in with one of my favorite, 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 and it's the Sigma Flat Top Kabuki Brush F80. This brush, wow, it's amazing. It um, has these fiber strings that um, stop the product from staying in the brush. So everything that you put in is going to go on your face. Nothing is gonna stay here and that's going to avoid you from getting pimples in the future because it's dirty. Still clean it every day, but still, you know what I mean. Um, it's just gonna go all in your face and it's just wonderful. You can also use this for contouring. If you wanna put some um, different color of foundation, you know, on the hollows of your cheeks and um, around your face, then you can just blend this in. Now I use it only for foundation and I'll just use something else for contouring. So F80, Sigma Sigma is a great, great brand that offers products the same quality as MAC, but they are um, cheaper than MAC. So same thing, please, please check them out. They are amazing. They have all types of brushes that you want. They have makeup, um, eyeshadows, so you'll love it, I promise. Now we are going to go in with how to set in the powder. Um, I use this e.l.f. complexion brush. There are so many complexion brushes out there, but I like them to be big and fluffy. So, you know, I can put it around my face. I don't put a lot of it. Um, the purpose of the complexion brushes is to um, put it on top of foundations for you not to crease and on top of your concealer. So any brush would do. This one, they sell them at Target's. Um, it's three bucks. Elf is a good option for some things. I don't like their eyeshadows, but for brushes, come on, just use it. Now I'm going to go in with the blush brush, and this is a Sonia Kashuk. Um, I used to use this for my foundation until I figured out that I love, love, love how my blush comes out when I use this. Right now I, I use it in today to do my makeup, and it's wonderful. Just a little bit of product and boom, you're done. Cheap product. Also sell them at any drugstore, so this is an option. Stippling brush. Now I use a MAC, whoa, 1235 12354. It's an old version. And I will use this for my bronzer and for contouring. I like the fact that it's small, so if I want a little bit of more um, defined contouring, I'll grab it together and just put it on. So this is just for the bronzer. If you guys don't want to spend much money on brushes, I'll talk about four brushes that I believe are very important um, and will be enough for any make. First of all, I'm going to go in with MAC 217 and this is for blending. Blend, 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 blend all around. This is perfect for um, putting transition colors in or just a dark color and blending it out. Then the next one is a Sigma Tapered Blending Brush E40. Amazing brush for the outer crease. Um, due to the shape of this brush, what it's going to do is that it's going to go exactly on your crease and just put all that color in. It's gonna make it look um, darker or for a smoky eye. This is so, so beautiful, you know, to just blend everything around. 
and another one is the MAC 219. This is going to be for um, blending or making an intense smoky eye um, on the outer V or just down the eye, you know, just blending all the colors out. So um, the first two brushes that I bought were these and I wouldn't change them for anything. They've lasted such a long time. They are MAC, so they are a little bit pricey, but it's worth it. Um, what I did once is that I bought this cheap set of brushes for what, 15 bucks, and it had 25 brushes, and I, and I was so happy about it, but I used them once, and I didn't want to see them again. Their hairs would fall out and everything. Something that I've learned that's very, very, very important is that in order to have a beautiful makeup, half of it is the products that you use and the quality of the products and the other half is the brushes. If you use really really bad brushes for blending or for specific things then you're not going to get a nice makeup because the brushes are going to be of bad quality which is going to you know show in your face. Something that I believe that could be used as cheap products is for the complexion brush or you know something more simple. So yes these are three and last but not least one of my last purchases, I used to use other ones and I hated them because it was so hard for me. Um, but you guys, if you guys like to do winged eyeliners or just, you know, just perfect lines, then I recommend. This is a Sigma E65. It's like a side brush and you use this to do your winged eyeliners or just lines. It's amazing, amazing, amazing. It's very thin and I don't know, it just allows you to make it perfect. Um, without without going all over your face and I don't know I've always had a really bad experiences with brushes for my eyeliner but this is amazing Sigma as well it's about 14 bucks um so it's not pricey at all and it's going to last a lifetime if you guys want to see more in depth I use that brush to do my eyeliner and I used to take what 10 minutes to do it and now literally I'll take two minutes and I'm done I don't have to do it again once is enough. We're going to go in with a little more in depth about the brushes, you know, for people that are a little bit more professional, you know, want to do certain effects. This is another e.l.f. brush and it is a e.l.f. contour brush. Um, I bought this about a month ago and I also love it for the outer crease or I even use it to uh, do a little bit of contouring on my nose and everything. Cheap. Um, it was about, what, four bucks? and it works really well really really well if you guys don't want to spend so much and you know do beautiful smoky eyes the next one is a sigma eyeshadow e65 i like to use this in order to you know put all the product on the lid i find these type of brushes to be the best 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 to make an intense color because sometimes if you put it with certain brushes you'll feel oh my god i don't understand why the makeup does not look as intense as um, you see the eyeshadow and it's because of the brush that you're using. You can use one of these brushes and if you're working with glitters you can put um, some special type of concealer or Too Faced glitter that's going to avoid any fallout and it's going to make it look very, you know, glamorous. Or if not, you can use um, your setting spray, give some sprays and pop, 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 pat it and you are done. Now. One of my loves, it's not because an amazing brush, but it's just because of the fact that it was one of my first brushes when I couldn't do any of my makeup, so I love it and I use it all the time, and it is this brush. It is from Revlon, and it has two sides. It's an angled brush, and smoking it out. It is amazing! I use this to put product on the bottom of my, eyel my eyeliner. I like to put this on the bottom of my eyelashes and then, you know, just blend it out. And also for blending out, I think it's beautiful, I think it's so cute, and I love it. Very cheap as well, you can buy it at um, any drugstore or in if you're in El Salvador, you can buy it at Galerias, the drugstore section products, and it works really well. Um, there's kits of Essence of Beauty, maybe you guys have seen them around, and sometimes they look weird, but they are very good. I remember my mom gave me once, and I was like, what is this? But then I tried it and I loved it. Um, I used this one to put my highlighter on. Um, and I'm going to be using this for a very long time because I just love it. Then I have another of the brushes of Essence of Beauty. And this is also to put the product on your lid. And another angled brush. I like to do this to put a darker color on the bottom part of my eyes. 
And yes, then I'll just blend it in and I'm done. Another one is from Posh. It was also in a kit. And I love to use this side to do a smoky eye because it gives, you know, intensity to the colors on the outer V. So. But not least, I use da -da, Anastasia Beverly Hills for my brows. I love this one. I've owned two in the past and I hated them. I didn't like them at all until I bought this one when I bought my dip brow. It's a little bit more pricey, but when I saw it, I was like, okay, I'm going to spend some money on it and I don't regret it. I love it. I will list all the products down below in the description bar so you guys can go and see if you want one or just just check them out. Um, so that is it for today. I hope you guys like this video and I will see you soon. Bye. Mm -hmm. <laughs>